Soon the smiling image of John Paul II will once again adorn St. Peter's Square. He will officially be recognized as a saint of the church, making him an example for Catholics around the world. But in his 26-year pontificate, it can be easy to overlook some of the key points that marked his life and his papacy. So here are a few examples. Humanity Carol Wojtyla was passionate about life and the arts. He loved poetry and drama, and in fact, he used to be an actor himself and wrote a play before he was ordained a priest. A key moment in his life was when he was employed in a chemical factory. Questa esperienza, esperienza di un operaio, e nello stesso tempo di un seminarista clandestino, mi è rimasta per tutta la vita. Nella fabbrica, per fare il mio turno, otto ore di giorno o di notte, ho portato con me alcuni libri. I miei colleghi, vuol dire i operai, si sono meravigliati un po', ma non scanalizzati. He was a pope everybody felt close to. He loved to laugh and wasn't afraid to show it. He was also known for hugging people. He wasn't afraid. He was a man of deep faith who put his trust in God. He prepared for the priesthood at a clandestine seminary founded by the then Cardinal of Krakow. And because of the tense atmosphere, he was ordained in secret. He always challenged everyone to not be afraid of life's difficulties. Non abbiate paura. He never denied his health problems. In fact, he would even joke about them every now and then. Come vedete, è un papa un po' deficiente. He underlined the importance of conscience instead of hatred, and this, he said, was the best way to counteract materialism. He chose understanding as a path towards democracy. The Traveling Pope John Paul II was the pope and world leader who traveled the most in history. He visited 129 countries. He took on a total of 146 trips outside of Italy which adds up to the equivalent of three times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. And during his journeys, he welcomed meetings with different types of people. His first trip was to Mexico, a country he fell in love with immediately. His last trip was in August 2004, when he traveled to the Lourdes Shrine in the south of France. He died eight months later. He asked for forgiveness. During the Jubilee in the year 2000, John Paul II asked for forgiveness for the Church's sins. From the Crusades, the Inquisition, divisions within the Church, the persecution of Jews, racism, and social injustice. He even personally forgave Ali Aka, the man who tried to kill him in St. Peter's Square on May 13, 1981. Accessible Saints John Paul II is also remembered for naming saints different cultures could relate to. During his pontificate, he beatified 1,340 people and canonized 483. That number alone is more than the combined canonizations carried out by his predecessors. Among the saints he proclaimed are parents like Gianna Beretta, indigenous people such as Juan Diego and Cateri Tecahuita. There's also the charismatic Padre Pio, the beatification of Mother Teresa, and Pope John XXIII. Youth. His genuine attitude triggered an instant connection with young people. He suggested they gather together every two or three years. And that was the beginning of World Youth Day. The first meeting outside of Rome was in Buenos Aires, Argentina, back in 1987. It's from these gatherings that some of the most moving images of his pontificate were shown to the world. Dialogue with religions. John Paul II built bridges between everyone, even those who didn't share his point of view. He was the first pope to visit a synagogue, and address the Jewish community as our older brothers. Siete nostri fratelli prediletti e in un certo modo si potrebbe dire i nostri fratelli maggiori. 
He also visited a mosque in Syria where the tomb of St. John the Baptist is located. He also improved the church relationship with Orthodox, Anglican, and Protestant Christians. He summoned the leaders of all world religions to pray together for peace. John Paul II has gone down in history for many reasons, and it's no wonder that many already call him John Paul II the Great. <laughs>